wonderful colorful tidbits that you had inside that that made me also curious as a parent to see oh, what what small small things we could create in fact she and me sat created all these funny funny things cute 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 things and that was the best time that we spent every evening once we got the kit it is meant for all categories of children so it is really really helpful that way because uh, that is where i started really encouraging her and then when she used to sit immediately even after your after your sessions were over she used to sit till 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock in the night busy still with that kit and she's never looked tired probably even sometimes when she's watching tv for that long she looked tired today i'll be having a chat with mrs vinita anil and her daughter shreya a menon on their experience of being early adopter of cutie pie starter kit Thank you for agreeing to share your thoughts with us. Thank you Santosh for having us on uh, your platform and giving us an opportunity to share our experience more so her experience. We are ready to share all our wonderful experiences that we have had during that entire session with you all. Thank you. Mrs. Vinita Anil has an individual uh, or has a parent now how do you see that uh, things are moving from analog to digital form? let me first say parenting as such has always been the concept of how we connect with our children throughout emotionally getting blended with them getting connected with them in every aspect of their growth starting from uh, their their eating habits to their day day to day life their studies their emotions their perceptions so parenting has always been a set of that things but i think if you look at uh, the analog to digital uh, you know it it is more to do with the uh, traditional methods of how we used to connect with our children where we used to sit with probably the old uh, bottles and you know the old uh, bottle caps and uh, leftover powder tins and uh, you know uh, whatever threads and uh, and woolen balls we had those used to make those balls for the children so storytelling uh, used to come automatically you know looking at the sky making uh, even if i'm talking about shreya how she grew up i used to take her out in the balcony and show her the pro and then create a story for myself so it is all about that sort of a feature but the same thing has gone into a different way probably because yes that with the technological advancement uh, definitely there has been a lot of digital growth and accordingly we have to move with the society and uh, definite parents becoming more and more busier with their day to day lives again making lives more comfortable for their children i can say that has also helped us in uh, continuing the process of parenting with the children so it has not changed is just that probably the way we are looking at and the kind of things that we are using now has changed but ultimate aim and core of it is still connecting with our children emotionally and physically that's okay. what it is okay wonderful i am seeing a very progressive thought uh, because you come from a progressive state that is what i always i see it has <laughs> uh, shreya uh, how did it feel when you had probably this was i assume this to be a first robotic kit in your hand how yes. did it feel to yes, you yes sir it was very nice i learned something new about blocks it was fun to play with so i liked the full session Oh, okay wonderful so you did you feel something very different when you holding uh, you are holding a kid because you probably had a toys in hand in the past there is a new form of a toy which is not built uh, not ready made but you saw something and you thought oh i have to build something how how, how was your reaction first reaction is open up the box i felt very nice seeing the different kind of blocks i wanted to first learn their names and then start building so after the first class i started building directly okay so, so that's really cool Oh, you are really curious. Okay, I was probably yes. about to use that word. Okay, wonderful, uh, Miss Vinita Anil. Uh, story time that has been often seen as a critical practice in parenting uh, and in education, and in, in order to help children to understand the culture of uh, the place they belong to. Uh, do you see that the shift from hardbound books to digital books uh, to interactive games and talking toys? I understand partially have answered this question in previous question, um, but do you see a um, lot of changes which are happening? Um, Uh, which where everything was in the form of physical very much uh, now that does exist but uh, it probably has added on plus uh, which also is a digital form yes yeah again to probably as you said you know add on to my previous answer if i'm looking at it the physical the the physical touch of having that hardbound books is something really different that experience is something really different which i feel that even this generation should continue to have 
you know the uh, bedtime stories or the time that we used to sit and spend take out time with our children to sit and open a book keep them on our laps and show them the you know the the feeling of uh, having a, a the hard bound book with us in our hand the smell of fresh paper fresh printed paper the different prints and the how the colors look glossy or you know how you have those different kinds of papers itself they used to understand that there are different kinds of papers but then um, again as i said we have to move on with time and uh, with with when we are looking at or loving our children to explore the world more and more there is a lot of traveling involved there's a lot of uh, you know uh, it, it, there is always a problem in terms of the practicality in today's world where we are moving from place to place there are a lot of changes happening probably we are not always in a setup where we can have huge libraries at home always so if i'm bringing the entire world and still giving them the experience of reading i see i feel it's good that this digital development has happened that uh you know i can have all my 100 or 200 books all packed into a nice small tab and read it and carry it with, with me wherever i'm going and i can still tell stories to my child or they can still experience the reading and you know experience the entire uh, digit the experience of the illustrations everything no doubt there's nothing to replace books but the reading experience and storytelling still continues to continue with the bonding you know that we are having with our children so that's very important so i'm glad it's happening because as we as i told you it's not possible for me to carry all my favorite books and take her along with me and then make sure that it is all happening so we might keep it away but that's happening now because of the digital world right i, I think it's not easy especially people not on travel and changes of jobs and yes uh, homes and it is no more easy in city to have an affordable place for a huge cupboards to have book stores right. uh, shreya i would like to know what what do you think now you have seen toys always in hand given to you mostly or you bought some toys i believe in the past is it right uh, was this a toy which you had to build with a kit box how how did it meant to you this transition uh before i always thought of how it was made now i could make it myself so i had a sense of uh, satisfaction and i was really happy and i got to know the process of how toys are made oh okay so in case now you given a choice now i we buy a toy or build a toy what would be your choice and why build a toy <laughs> okay your quick answer <laughs> okay because you you give you feel happy because of that reason yes yeah yes. right um uh, mrs vinita anil um I would like to ask you like as a parent what was your perception of robotic kids that have emerged to be either education entertainment or cognitive you feel that they fall in category or you feel a combination of them or you have some other view on that uh let me be very candid about uh, the original opinion that i had uh initially when i heard, used to hear about robotics and robotics kit even for that matter even <clears throat> to shreya i had initially said no let's not you know probably there's something uh, uh, that's making you more mechanical let's not get into that mechanical world in, in any case you're in today's world you are glued to the screen you are glued to gadgets let's not become more uh, you know tech tech, uh, tech savvy in terms of you know at this tender age getting into too much of mechanical things probably still have a feel of other experiences that you will get now and i had a different perception of robotics kit i thought it is something to do with pure coding and which might not be a cup of tea for all children right now if you look at <clears throat> me per se uh, i have gone into the education field but if you ask me to create algorithms i'm not good at it but if you ask me to do something creative which is already you know given to me in bits and pieces i can be as creative as possible so my initial perception of robotics kit was that must be they have to get into the depth of understanding all that and then create it but the moment uh, she and me got exposed through your kit it was really uh, an exploration in true sense that you know we can uh, those wonderful colorful tidbits that you had inside that that made me also curious as a parent to see oh, what what small small things we could create in fact she and me sat created all these funny funny things cute 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 things and that was the best time that we spent every evening once we got the kit you know so the entire perception of a robotics kit changed for me and i said okay there is another factor to it where it has helping my child to develop her curiosity her decision making her creativity her uh, you know as she said i like to create toys so i felt that there's another perception there's another factor of hers that is hidden in her which is coming out 
so now it is more positive for me that uh, robotics kit yes in its own way can be introduced to children so according to the levels they can always enjoy it right i think there is a very different perception about robotics they think it is a coding uh, more mostly that is what is seen as uh, maybe because of other competitors or other company which have projected it has coding uh, that is perception is there uh, shreya if i have to ask you to arrange in, in your order uh, is this starter kit one for education second for entertainment third and overall development how would you order it entertainment education and overall development okay so you're going to give first entertainment yes sir. and second education and third is overall development yes sir uh, any reason why you you think that is an order of 1 2 3 according to you so the first one why i felt it was uh, entertainment because while putting the blocks we are all uh, Uh, into it, so it's really enter- uh, entertaining. Then education is because we are learning something, and overall development we learn uh, other than education. Okay, okay. Uh, Mrs. Venathanil, uh, do you think the screen-based technology are helpful for parents to keep the children occupied when they are busy with other things? I know this is one of the phenomena in cities which parents are widely probably asking, but not maybe openly talking about it. Yeah if you ask me I would still say we should be away from it when I'm looking at uh, both the parents the father and the mother of a child uh, busy and yes they have their official commitments or their job related commitments which is important in today's world when I'm looking at that and fulfilling those commitments and they still have to keep the child within their uh, vicinity in safe hands keep them occupied with something constructive uh, something which is not uh, you know dangerous for them to do then in that case these kind of technologies where you know uh, the talking toys or the interactive digital uh, mechanisms that you all have created in terms of robotics and various activities does help if i'm looking at it only from that perspective yes it is definitely helping because i can sit in my room i can i can still continue with my official work or my other commitments and i can have my child in 100% safe hands where she's doing i know she's doing something really constructive and useful but having said that i also feel that that shouldn't be a reason for parents to just get glued to their official commitments only we have to make sure that there's a planning done where i'm saying no this is my cut off time beyond this at least an hour or two in a day it need not be continuous but in bits i should be spending qualitative time because there's nothing that can replace the emotional and the physical time that we spend with our children so that should not get completely weaned away but yes considering the commitments and the fast developing world that we are in today and unfortunately or fortunately i do not know how to say the pandemic has brought in a lot of positives and has uh, definitely not been very 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 positive for everybody around but it has at least made sure that the family is all inside under one roof and they're all busy with something constructive that was possible only because of this uh, sort of you know digital developments that have happened okay so you also see uh, some form of a parent bonding session happening because of all this uh, uh, the resolution of technology has such Yes. Okay. Uh, Shreya, how, how do you see yourself as a student has a screen time challenges like people talk about too much being on online is not also not healthy not good but what is your experience with uh, the starter kit and using the screen time with that? The robotics uh, first we do online screen time but uh, as we are doing that we also look into our blocks so not much screen time is used there so I think it's better than online classes because online classes in between you have to keep looking at the screen and we can't hear the teacher in between and we don't look anywhere else other than that. I hope so your teacher class- is not listening this. <laughs> <laughs> so you think uh, a kind of interaction between a screen versus a child versus a teacher if there is an something happening like a triangular shape i think is more better rather than just you being a receptive of listener from a teacher always yes sir yeah wonderful mrs swinthanil you being a, a very seasoned educationist uh, i think uh, my next question should be an um, uh, a very interesting question and i'm sure uh, i would like to hear a very interesting view from you uh, like there are various different forms of learning children go through it uh, largely uh, i think the various activities which are away from academics uh, seems to be informal experience uh, other than sports as well i think sports also forms into very times formal experience of learning so uh, how do you see um, that has a parent you supporting an informal learning experiences with robotics 
definitely yes there is a lot of uh, uh, experience of learning see one is because uh, if you're, if i'm looking my at myself as a parent we were not exposed to all this during our childhood right so this has come all of a sudden for us so it is a learning for us so it is it is indirectly we are, we are teaching our children how we can have be continuous learners you know so we ourselves are learning it up in order to make it more beneficial for our children that, that's one thing that i feel is very very good about this informal setup of you know learning and uh, again as i said if the bonding of a parent and child has to happen it has to happen not by just sitting together and just watching something which is running on the te- television or you know just sitting and uh, your child is busy with his or her games and then you are busy with your own thing that doesn't mean that you're spending qualitative time something where both the parent and the child is sitting sitting and you know grabbling on and busy doing and doing something really creative really helps right so your informal form of uh, system of learning when i'm saying this sort of a robotics just to mention it more specifically if i'm looking at those activities it helps us to actually sit together and spend a lot of qualitative time there's a lot of brainstorming that is happening and there is a, a learning that is happening without any force you know we are not forcing on to them any system of learning unlike in schools where uh, or if i'm typically talking about a formal system of education we teach them a curriculum and we are saying you must learn it but that is going like an enforcement onto them which probably might not be acceptable for all kinds of children they might not really be enjoying that whole process of learning but learning can become more concrete only if they are enjoying it and that enjoyment is more visible in this informal system because they are learning about circuits they are learning how to connect it they are learning if i put this big block over a small block how it can not stand stable so they are creating so there's a lot of critical thinking that is happening without their knowledge you know if i'm quoting about her itself she tried making something very different she said uh, what is it that will help you in the kitchen for cleaning and she tried using your kit to start making something and she attached a small cloth to it and she started doing it so uh, it definitely take lot more of uh, mo- modulations in it to make it more perfect but i could see that she started thinking more differently she knew what to connect so that learning has happened in her so and yes the beautiful time that we could share together i learned a lot i was curious you know pulling out the small things with the player and doing things it was really nice so i feel that informal sort of education is also equally important for the overall development of a child definitely important because learning cannot be thrusted or enforced on yeah i i also think informal learning has some advantage one is it will help us to test our curiosity um, second there are no marks and then third is probably judgments are not very high on the watch what your somebody is trying i think keeping this consideration i think informal learning makes an um, like a playing a game which doesn't have rules yes yes it is also allowing every child to learn at his or her own pace you know so we are allowing learning happening in the natural way rather yeah. than giving them a specified uh, you know time frame and then say fit into this that's not right that's what is happening unfortunately in our system but uh, probably things like this which is developing because of digital development technological development will probably help us transition into more of that form of learning right yeah yeah we hope so yeah yeah yes. i think yes. any 2020 is a uh, probably an a good starter uh, yes. for uh, education system in india uh, yes. say if given a choice you forget for a while about school forget about the, the conditions around the schools and our expectation from the society or your own desires would you like a very formal learning or informal learning experience and why uh formal so that i get to know the teachers more mm-hmm. and um, because yeah i like uh, meeting the teachers every day saying good morning meeting them uh, sitting on the chairs sitting on the formal table putting our books under the desk or putting our bag into the cubby hole that's okay. a different yes means that does it mean that you like rules is that what i understood no rules like following things is necessary okay so yeah okay. or oh, you saying is a mixed package of an uh, something which has a rules is okay but as long as it is comfortable for somebody to yes. uh, to have that experience you're okay to have a formal setup yes sir okay okay yeah nice 
yeah like you are a good disciplinarian <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Sundanil, uh, how has been your experience with child picking on coding and robotics? Uh, I, I think Shreya probably is doing this for the first time, if I understand it rightly. So, how has, yeah. has been experience as a parent? My whole uh, perception itself changed in the first place, you know, mm. uh, where I felt, okay, uh, this can be t- considered for my child because if she is not, the, if she is not the one who can sit and learn or try to create a you know the typical coding what what we have always understood then definitely i wouldn't have encouraged her to go further into it but then if things are given to her to give her the freedom of creativity uh, creative uh, giving the freedom of building something understanding more of physics understanding more of uh, connections and understanding different subjects per se actually if you look at it there is a lot, lot of subject knowledge that is going into it uh, but Uh, not in typically in a very technical sense it was not very technical so it was what i liked the most was even for a person or a child who does not have that sort of an inclination purely mathematical or highly computer science inclination will also enjoy this so it is meant for all categories of children so it is really really helpful that way because uh, that is where i started really encouraging her and then when she used to sit immediately even after your cl- after your sessions were over she used to sit till 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock in the night busy still with that kit and she's never looked tired probably even sometimes when she's watching tv for that long she looked tired but uh, she sat with the kit till 10 o'clock just to understand those bits and pieces sometimes even to just uh, you know disconnect each of those pieces itself took her some time how to disconnect everything there's a lot of motor skills that happens there even at this age there's a lot of thinking that goes into the knack of doing certain things it without the knowledge when they are learning that i enjoyed that whole uh, you know experience of watching her do something out of her own interest uh, so for me especially as a parent i still believe you know for both my children i never force things on to them if they are in a mood to do something or learn something so it be it if they are not i give them the freedom to do because there is no point on thrusting something onto them but if they are enjoying it and is going for hours together that's where my success is as a parent and as an educationist so i thoroughly enjoyed the whole session i i thoroughly enjoyed i used to sit beside her throughout the session just to watch her how she was curious and quickly picking up things and connecting it and seeing whether it is working and how she used to wreck her head on why the fan is not working why the light is not coming then put it in several places and then understand oh it's because of this connection not happening so there's a lot of learning that she had from that then she became an expert in that particular kit so it was a very thrilling experience for me no doubt uh, she how what it meant to be uh, very much so much immersed in activity like this uh, i'm not very sure if he had any other activity you were so immersed in this if you are i'm very happy if you had uh, any immersion in the past as well but what it meant to immerse so much yourself for example i loved get immersed in uh, writing and reading so uh, i am i'm very little curious to find out what made you to get so immersed because after connecting the blocks we make one big thing So to mm-hmm. see how it comes out is the main thing which I've got immersed into. Oh, you meant to say that you created physical structure, yes. and you want to know what would this do it? Yeah. Okay, so you are always trying to answer your curiosity, if I understand correctly. Yes. Okay, wonderful. So uh, that means you are a lot of curious about a lot of learning process, finding out, and trying to find an answer to you think see things around. Yes. Okay, wonderful, uh, Mrs. Vintanil. If you have to give us a feedback or um, uh, do a recommendation, both I'm asking as a feedback and recommendation. What do you think we should probably re rework or rechange, or do you think we probably restructure things what we're doing it, or address some areas which we have not addressed so far? Uh, as an educationist, you probably would see it if this has to run in a school for children of all. As you say that probably every other child be able to learn this um, with this kit. So, what do you think, as a educationist? I would like to ask you this question. One, uh, second, what would be your recommendation in case some parent had to pick this box? See, I wouldn't. Uh, I, I might sound biased if I'm saying you know everything was fine, but for me, uh, I felt the starter kit which we which we tried on now was quite perfect for a child of any age. Yes, uh, but then if you're looking at smaller children, the size of the blocks probably should be much more bigger. 
because i might have my first and second grade children because of the colors you know they might also try to pop it into their mouth so because this this can happen we might feel that they just because of curiosity it looks quite uh, crunchy and quite tempting the colors are so beautiful they are so attractive that um, i myself uh, you know even as a, as an adult i had i had quite a lot of fun in just holding it into my hand and actually having it but then when i'm looking at the younger ones probably the blocks should be a little more uh, bigger if we are not able to give 100% supervision in a school setup but if a parent is sitting then the starter kit is a perfect one for the for the beginners because they're getting the hands on experience on smaller models understanding the circuit system the connections the building all in a at a smaller pace and still trying out multiple things and feeling good about it right so the outcome is looking really big for them uh, though the 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 actual building up is not much in it they are getting the experience of a bigger result so i feel that way it is a very perfect piece there is absolutely no issues about it and since you have various other levels the ones who are curious to do, do it you're giving them an opportunity to upgrade themselves into various more learning process so i think that way it's a perfect uh, set i don't think the kit requires anything else just that yes when we're doing it with children in school the younger ones we would have to definitely be careful on the supervision aspect of it that's all now uh, what would be your recommendation in case uh, a parent had to pick this kit um, um... <laughs> recommendation uh, i would definitely say they must give it a try because i as a parent if i could change my perception of what is robotics uh, if they still have the preconceived notion that it is the typical coding and uh, you know everybody today in the market is doing it just to make money out of it then i would just i would tell them please take it take up after that it's their choice they were whether they want to upgrade themselves to the next level or not but at least let them have the experience of understanding what goes into that starter kit so that they would see that actual joy in the faces of their children uh, they would actually see the sense of accomplishment in their child on their child's face um they would see a lot of curiosity which otherwise we usually see it missing because they're only glued to the gadgets and only glazing at it they are not uh, using you know their gray matter at all so when when we look at that uh, you know this is something where there's a lot of activity happening there's a lot of curiosity there's a joy there's an excitement so multiple factors we as parents would like to see in children is all happening at one shot because of that starter kit so i would definitely say they must give it a try and have a look at it and experience this joy of sitting with the children and doing it because we ourselves create a lot of bring out a child in us and that is something which i always say keep the child uh, child in us alive as adults that is very very important so that has helped me and that helps me to make my child also busy with something more productive rather than destructive so it is definitely recommended okay wonderful to hear a very very positive note uh shea in case you have to tell something to your friends about what you're building um uh, what would you recommend this kit box or um, you would you would have any suggestion for us uh, the way it is run or the way uh, that it has been thought or the way it has been dealt so far to you uh to tell my friends i would tell that uh, it was a really nice class in saying for uh, the teachers the teachers were very kind they made sure everybody uh, did it on time and if somebody is not switched on the camera and showed it they made sure that everybody is finished and then go to the next step so the teachers were really kind then coming to the creativity it's really nice to see this block and play with them and uh, make small small stuff so i would tell my friends that does it you ha- they have to try it Oh wonderful thank you thank you for recommendation and uh, uh, helping us with the feedback uh, i would pass this definitely to the team to to, to revisit especially uh, miss vinita anil has you mentioned that the building blocks could be a little larger especially for the low grade children uh, in case we increase building block i think size i think we couldn't even try for an uh, uh, preschoolers which we are not tried otherwise so i was could, just uh, about to tell you that because it is very important the motor skills when it comes to preschool you yeah. know uh, when we give them a lot of and probably it can be made a little more uh, softer to handle so that they're not or the the edges can be made a little more blunt 
you know these can be the small modifications that you can do so that you can still create that kind of uh, motor skill development curiosity build it in the in the preschool the, the kg children uh, and then you know you can gradually move up to the higher grades uh, in the way it has to be done but otherwise yeah because some of the pieces it it is natural some of the pieces are a little sharp because of the way it has been well carved for that particular thing but that can be made a little blunt a little more uh, softer because the hands are much more delicate and gentle and yes more bigger in size but the yeah. colors can are still the same because they are quite quite attractive so i think those colors y'all can still go ahead with it okay thank you Uh, thank you for uh, wonderful feedback and recommendation uh, mrs vinta anil and uh, shea meno thanks for your time and wonderful talking to you and thanks for sharing your experience using the starter kit of qtpi robotics thank you very much thank you so much sancho santosh for having both of us again uh, and giving us an opportunity to be sharing our experience it was quite exciting for me to be actually telling it out uh, to you and to anybody probably because as i told you when my perception changed that itself was an excitement for me so thank you for giving us this opportunity yeah i probably would like to say thank you in the way you say it in malayalam nanni but i would say namaskar giving us time to share quick views on how we feel about your kit thank you ma'am